Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Locum23. You're joining me for choices of the stories you play. Crown of the Flame Book 3, Chapter 12, The Gathering Storm. Now, playing as Raiden, you're standing over Kenna's bed, a knife in your hand, and her sword at your throat. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't slit your throat right now, traitor. Kenna, I know what this looks like, but it looks like you snuck in to assassinate me. No, I snuck in to warn you. Azura's assassins are on their way. They could be in the room already. I don't see anyone here but us. Well, if you saw them, they wouldn't be very good assassins, would they? I saw you. Because I'm not one of them. God's sake, Kenna, if I wanted to kill you, do you really think you could stop me? Try it, and find out. I should prove my point, keep my call. Something tells me that wouldn't work out well for either of us. No, it wouldn't. How can I convince you that I'm not here to harm you? You can start by dropping your weapon. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Because of the assassins that are going to burst through that door at any second? Yes! Conflicting emotions rage behind Kenna's eyes. Give me one reason I should believe you. Give me any reason I should ever trust you again. Because I love you? I can help you defeat Azura. I did everything for Stormwall. Hmm. So I guess this is for the people who ship Raiden and Kenna? Would be the I love you. I can help you defeat Azura, which might be giving the book to her and saying, see, look, it's translated. And everything he's up to the, uh, done up to this point, which Kenneth doesn't really know about, until he explained, would be for Stormhold, which technically he did. Technically he did it for the Five Kingdoms, too, but mainly Stormhold. Let's do I Can Help You Defeat Azura. And what makes you think I need your help? You can't defeat her on your own. They said the same thing about Luther. Luther is an arrogant fool. Luther is a thousand-year-old sorceress who commands lightning and devours souls. A thousand years old? Indeed. And that's just a piece of all I've learned. I've got plenty more to share if we can make it out of this room alive. Kenna's sword tip wavers then falls. I believe you, Raiden. I have a lot of questions, but I believe you. You won back Kennel's trust. Thank you, Kina. Now, we must sound the alarm and call the gods before... No sooner have the words left your lips than you hear a distant sound. Now, playing as Kina, in the distance, alarm bells ring out, echoing across the castle grounds. Five bells? A fire? No. A destruction. Raiden tackles you to the floor as a blade slices the air above you. Pushing Raiden away, you roll to your feet and take in the sight of a terrifying figure in black. Clever spy, your death will not be swift. Huh. He's got a mask and everything. I take this as one of the assassins you mentioned? Yes. A little gift from Azura. Can arise. I don't believe we've met. I am a shadow of she who shines brightest. I am lightning. Be careful, Can. I wish he's not alone. The Empress demands your death. She'll have to settle for yours. The assassin dashes towards you, long arms unfurling as he swings a strange weapon at your face. I should block, freeze, block. 
You catch his attack with your sword, your face an inch apart. Steel claws grind against your blade. Holy shit, that is actually really awesome looking. That is that is cool looking. I, I love things like that. Nice toy. Here's mine. You shove the assassin back, aiming a slash at his chest. He leaps away, somersaulting like an acrobat across the bearskin rug. Ha ha ha! Suddenly, he seems to stagger, falling to one knee. Wait. Nice try if you think I'm gonna fall for that. Your soft impact as something drops from the shadows behind you. Think again. You whirl a sword lashing out at the second assassin, surprised. The assassin springs away and drops into a fighting stance. Kina, rise! Let me guess. In these lightning, you must be thunder? The Empress demands your death. So I keep hearing. You and Raiden fall in the back-to-back -back as thunder and lightning begin to circle. Is this clumsy pair of dancers really the strongest as Zurich and Muster? I'm almost disappointed. I think they were summoned, to be honest. Should we teach them a step or two? Are you asking me to dance? I believe I am. Follow my lead, lead the way. I despise dancing, let's kill them. Lead the way. With pleasure. Enough of this. I thought it froze. As you wish, Kina. Now! Before the assassins can react, you and Raiden attack, bringing the fight to them. Blades clash, sparks fly, your bodies blur together, shimmering a whirlwind of steel with tear that tears straight through your opponents. Yah! With a kick to the groin, lightning falls. Ha <laughs> ha! With a slash to the chest, thunder sprawls. His weapon skitters across the floor. Best of sure shadows. Legend 2. You're beaten. Surrender, and your lives will be spared. Shadows do not surrender. Shadows do not fall. Well, for the first time for every... thing? A strange expression comes over a Raiden's face. He looks down, bringing a hand to his stomach. It comes away, wet with blood. Oh, when did that... I didn't even feel... Raiden, no! You rush towards Raiden, and he collapses in your arms. Blood stains your arms as you sink to the floor, cradling Raiden in your lap. Raiden, you fool! Apologies, my queen. You spot the iron claw laying beside Raiden a few feet away. Your sword. As a body, as the bloody assassins rise again, rage wells up within you. Turn the assassin's weapon against them, you can also gain the option to use a battle in the final. While that would be fun, 16 diamonds for those wanting to know, maybe in the future. Stormholt Steel. You twirl your faithful short sword in your hands. Hmm. You think a shadow can be cut by a common sword? This common sword has won two wars. And it will soon win a third. The rest of the assassin's vision blurred with metal, blood, and tears as you unleash your fury upon them. Ah! Gah! As the assassin screams, subside, the door bursts open and the castle guards storm in. They freeze in the doorway, taking in the dead assassins. Gods, how did these monsters get inside? You, your Majesty, did you kill two trained assassins in Gaili? That's incredible. You must be... Uh, uh, new, yeah. You drop your weapon and rush to Raiden's side. Raiden, stay with me. I can't lose you too. I can't... I need to... To tell you. He opens his mouth, a half-finished sentence on his tongue. But the words never come. Raiden, no. Please, no.
Okay, so you survived. <laughs> now Bling is raiding. You wake in a soft bed. Jackson, Kenna, and Adder are standing above you. Val stares daggers from the corner. The spy is awake. That's a shame. You have such vengeful friends, brother. Why they stood watch all night just to crow at you in the morning? Uh, what's going on? My scars. An interrogation, I'm afraid. Raiden, you helped to defend me against Azur's shadows, and for that I thank you, but... You sit up in bed, winching. I understand. If I were a double agent, a conveniently thwarted attack would be just the way to get back into your goods or graces. Especially considering the heroic wound I took in your defense. Hmm. <laughs> wound. They barely nicked you. The healer said you collapsed more from exhaustion than your injuries. In my defense, yesterday was a very long day. Yes, I've heard battling storm old soldiers can be quite tiring. Friends, I understand that I have broken your trust, and it will take time to rebuild. But everything I did, it was for our cause. So believe. So please, ask your questions, and I will try my best to answer them. I won. Why did you shoot Val? You look Val in the eyes. Her gaze is cold and hostile. I shot Val because... She had it coming. I knew she could take it. I had to sell the lie. As there was no fool. To gain a trust, I needed to demonstrate my loyalty in a manner shocking enough to catch off guard. So you shot me? so I very carefully shot a dear friend who I knew would react with a genuine devastation. Val's jaws clenching, she glances away. Adder steps up to your bedside, brushing the hair from your face. My poor, sweet brother. Black Asp agents in Azura's army tell me that you and she became rather friendly. What's more, I hear she offered you to make you Lord of Stormhold? How could you possibly know about that already? Do you deny it? No. Little orphan boy from Lycos seduced by a sorceress from across the sea, promising him power and treasure. What is your question, Ada? Simply this, with Azura offering such power and glory, why not betray us? You've always been practical man. Why choose the weaker side? I stay loyal for my friends, for my sister, because Azura must be stopped. For my friends. You know, Val, Jackson, at least, Willock, Sai, Dom, even you, Hedda. Everything I did, I did for those I care about. And if they hate me for the rest of my life, that's a price I'd gladly pay if what I did saves every one of theirs. <laughs> you did always have a talent for drama. Such a heroic answer, and yet, strangely, I believe it. Adder steps back, and Jackson steps forward. My turn. You helped the Empress' daughter elude capture as if you were her own personal bodyguard. Explain yourself! I protected, Le protected Leia because she's a child. You're an oaf and wouldn't listen to reason. I needed her. She's just a child. The soldiers had their lo lost their senses and they were going to kill her. Another lightning witch? An innocent child. I... That... Jackson, is that true? Jackson's face falls. Yes, Your Majesty. The soldiers had seen Azura decimate their comrades. They were out of control. I lost track of them in the fighting, and by the time I caught up to the chase... Jackson sighs and shakes his head. They acted dishonorably. Such you successfully navigated your interrogation and I take responsibility for it. 
Much as it pains me to say Raiden did the right thing. And you would trust him again? I would, Your Majesty. I... I may not like his methods, but as a spy master in service to Stormhold, I suppose Raiden did as his duty demanded. Hatter? I, to be honest, I assumed it was a ploy all along. I am just like Adder. Val? Val stares at you long and hard. She stands. I understand why he did it. Suppose it was even pretty clever. But would I trust him again? She spits and walks out. Kenna starts after her. Val, wait! No, please. Let her go. Kenna stops in the doorway, sighs, and turns back to you. It's settled, then. Raiden, welcome back. You completed your mission. Thank you all. I look forward to sharing all that I've learned. Kenna dismisses the others. Adder smacks her shoulder on the way out. Good to have you back, brother. Trying not to go missing again? Jackson and Adder head for the door. Now playing as Kinna, you close the door and return, taking a seat at the foot of Raiden's bed. Something else, my queen? Raiden, I missed you. I'm glad you're back. I'm sorry about Val. Um, I'm glad you're back. I assume nothing noteworthy happened while I was away? Oh, of course not. Nothing interesting ever happens here. We all just sat around playing cards. Jackson took up the loot. That sounds lovely. I should betray you more often. Please don't. How are your injuries? Nothing I won't survive. I don't suppose you'd feel fit enough to give a speech for me? On rousing pre battle speeches, old hat to you by now? Yes, but I'm usually giving them to Stormhold soldiers. Who are you addressing today? Luther's troops. And they're a tough audience, let me tell you. You turn to find Zeno standing outside the door. Univaracus have a nasty habit of showing up unexpectedly. Funny, I thought the same thing about you people when you crashed my party and kidnapped me. Come on, Kenna. I need to talk to you about something before your speech. Raiden pats your hand. Uh, go. You should prepare. Or you could... Go shut that door in Zeno's face and stay a while longer. Want to enjoy a more romantic reunion with Raiden? Now's your chance. Your eyes walk to the door and... Follow Zeno. You should rest, and I should prepare. Huh. It's very interesting how... I mean, I guess back then relationships were more open which isn't a bad thing but yeah they weren't supposed to be as open as you might think I suppose you're right as usual best of luck my queen Raiden sighs and lays back down to sleep you turn to follow Zeno I mean he is an attractive looking character so he follows Zeno over the battlements and towards the courtyard you have to give my brother command of our army. I don't have to do anything. No, uh, listen. Sino stops and locks eyes with you. Yes, it's a formality. Look, you don't like me, and I don't like you. I mean, I really, really don't like you. I get it. Just since we've walked out here, I've thought about pushing you off the wall four times. 
No, wait, five! Is there a point approaching anytime soon? Yes. There's a battle coming up, right? Well, during that battle, there will be soldiers from Abanthus fighting. And? And someone is going to have to command them. And you think I should give command to... She said the brother. Right? Because she's Luther's daughter. So, command to Luther, Divios, you. Divios. Exactly. Why? Because while I may not like you, and I really, really don't like you, do you know what I like even less? Bad hair? No. Well, yes, but no. I was going to say being at war. You don't like being at war? No, war is the worst. All the eligible shooters are off fighting. The staff keeps changing names. My favorite shops are always closed. You lead an interesting life. And I want to keep leading it. But if you give my father back his little army men, he'll shove them up your nose first chance he gets. Meaning... More war with you. Your father couldn't possibly be that stupid. Have you met my father? He's a vain, stubborn old man. All he cares about is restoring our family's legacy. Divios is loyal to your father. But he's more loyal to his people. Even if he's too dense to remember that sometimes. Why shouldn't I just command the Navarakis army myself? Just to be safe. Because that's dumb? How many of your friends have you... Of their friends, have you personally killed? I've lost count. Exactly. They hate you as much as I do. Well, maybe not quite as much, because I really, really... We get it. I have a speech to give. You brush past Zeno. Rude, says you. you. Climb to the top of the gate yard, gatehouse with Tom and Jackson. Blow soldiers in Stormhold and Arrakis colors stand side by side. Hmm. <laughs> now there's a sight I'd never thought I'd see. That makes two of us. You ready for this, Kenna? Well, after my rousing morning making love to... Ah, oh, the spy master. And then Dom just has to give you a look like, what? N nothing. <laughs> Not in the slightest. Across the battlements, you spot Luther, Divios, and Zeno coming your way. You study their faces. Dom, would you trust good advice from a bad source? Is this a trick question? I'm not sure yet. As the Navragas pass, Luther grunts. Divio stops and bows. Queen Kenna? Prince Divios? History will remember this day, a crucial turning point in the Stormhold Abanthus Alliance. I am as in a raises an eyebrow at you. Your Majesty, it's time. The Navragas head down to take their places in the courtyard. Stepping to the wall, you take a deep breath and assemble. Address the assembled troops. Soldiers of Stormhold. Ah! Knights of Amanthus. Oh, you guys are a really cherry bunch. You know that? The Rackus soldiers seem skeptical. How should I start? Be blunt? Be diplomatic? Well, it's a time of war. <laughs> I didn't realize I haven't slept yet, right? <laughs> Today's been a very long day. Um, well, 
I did get like a micro nap, if that counts. Be blunt, be diplomatic. Blunt, screw it. You don't like us, and we don't like you. Either in some of the soldiers chuckle, Davios frowns. But a greater enemy is now upon us. Let us unite now, and kill each other later, once and for all. Yeah! The soldiers let out a hearty cheer. That was interesting. You don't like me, and I don't like you, but let's unite and kick Sura's ass. With that in mind, I have made a decision regarding the battle to come. The Abanthus troops will be commanded by... Me! No, I'm kidding. Divios. What? What? Divios has been commanding soldiers against the Iron Empire for longer than I've been Queen of Stormhold. What's more, in our mission to rescue Dom, he proved himself a capable warrior and a trustworthy ally. I can think of no one more fit to lead. Assembled troops break into a raucous applause. Luther storms out of the courtyard. Zeno nods approvingly. Smart. A horn sounds. Jackson peers over the battlements. Gonna, you might want to see this. You join Jackson and look out toward the horizon. To the west, storm clouds. Dark storm clouds stretch across the horizon, heralding the approach of Azura's army. How have they covered that much ground so fast? That's less than a day's march away. Commence preparations. We'll be fighting by dawn. Chapter Progress. You either a surprise attack by your enemies and are reunited with old friends, gave Azura's assassins a good old-fashioned Stormhold welcome, you finally return from your undercover mission and won back the trust of your friends. You welcomed Raiden back into your alliance. You trusted Zeno's advice and appointed Divios to command the Abanthus troops. Ah. Everyone's like, Divios is gonna be... No, because he already technically is recruited. If he... if Okay, so uh, this is how I look at it. Let's say he wins, right? Let's say he wins the war. We beat Azura, she retreats or dies or whatever. What's he going to be like? Excuse me. You can't sit there and say, well, can I join your merry band of, of misfits? Because as you can see, Luther's already recruited. Zeno's already recruited. I mean... Yeah, I don't see his name up here, but I I don't know. I mean, we never had to recruit Val. We never had to recruit Raiden. We never had to recruit any of the people that we have right now, like Willock and anything. And it never shed, it never said it. So I don't know. I think I feel like he's already been recruited. I think he's already one of the gang. We never recruited Dom. We never recruited any of these people. So I don't know. I don't know. It's still up in the air for him. Um, I guess we'll see. We'll, we'll really see. I look forward to doing the diamond versions, by the way. Um, we have officially finished Freshman, by the way. Freshman Book 1. Well, I'm going to go back. Um, I'm going to do... The Chris right now is leading in the poll of what I wanted. I asked people what did they want next. That is leading right now. Um, and then I'm going to do a James version. Either way, I'm going to get both done. I just wanted to know what people wanted first. Um, and it's going to be the finale. Going back to the whole book is pointless because all the... It was very linear up until the end, and then Pixelberry started listening to fans. And then book two, you can branch off and either go Caitlin, James, or Chris. So do keep that in mind. Um... So yeah, a lot to talk about this week in the recap, which will be later after Friday because of the love hacks and royal romance that comes out. Um, the official finale for Rules of Engagement, that is out. 
not on my channel just yet, but that is there is a book three coming out. I just wish they had not um procrastinated so much. Honestly, they could have already been doing uh book three right now. But I'm assuming that um Endless Summer will pick up where Rules of Engagement leaves off. Then they'll work on Rules of Engagement, because I hope they do. They need some time to work on it. I, I feel like it's starting to lose its puff. But anyway, I digress. That's for recap to talk about. Um, otherwise, I hope you all did enjoy the video. Feel free to like and share. Let me know in the comment section if you did or did not like the video. Also, um feel free to go down in the description below. You can follow me on any social media, or if you want to support myself or my content, there's also a couple links down in the description below for that as well. And until next video, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.